Now on K107, time for the Rev Runs Yule Log in association with r r Cafe at Craig and Colt Farm by Kinghorn Lock, bringing you delicious hot food throughout December. Hello to you this morning, whether you are listening on K107 FM or whether you are watching me online on the White's Causeway Baptist Church YouTube page. It's December 3rd and I am the Reverend Ron Rye. Because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed, for his compassions never fail. Lamentations 3, 22. It is fascinating to me that this verse we read together comes in the book of Lamentations, a book that sounds as sorrow-filled as the name would suggest. And yet, every so often, there is this staccato of hope that punctuates the rhythms of mourning. It is almost as if, in spite of what the writer is seeing, feeling, or indeed experiencing, they know there is something more beyond the sadness, pain, and difficulty that they are currently witnessing. It is one of the realities of life that we all experience at some point, but we very seldom talk about. Sometimes our life is a managed balance of despondency and hope. I think it is one of the reasons why it is so important there is a book like this in the Bible, because it reminds us that what we feel and what we experience is known, is shared, and on many occasions is just completely normal. Not only is it normal to experience, but it is completely normal to come to God with that same conflict, the unanswerable cry of the soul that sometimes has to believe there is hope in spite of what it knows in the moment. We know this season isn't happy for every person that sometimes feels subjected to the torment of tinsel. Dealing with grief in any form during a time of ostentatious joy is disjointed and sometimes downright derailing. And yet in this passage we read, the expression of hope that grounds the feelings of the writer who possibly is lurching through that moment that we know where the very ground beneath your feet seems unstable because of the darkness that surrounds your mind is made evident to us. To be able to express, I am loved during my woe. I am loved in spite of my fear. I am loved even with my depression is the greatest act of faith by any individual and the greatest gift we can give to the sufferer. And maybe at Christmas, maybe, just maybe, That is a gift we can all spare. No money, no extravagance. Just the same that Jesus gives to us. An unconditional expression of connection that forces no change from the receiver, but aligns us to their existence, even for the briefest of moments, so that they know they are loved. Loved. That was Rev Ron's Yulog at this time every weekday in association with R&R Cafe at Craig and Colt Farm by Kinghorn Loch. Check Facebook for details.